Good morning, folks. Yesterday we saw a sun diving comet. Make that two. The second is very faint, kind of difficult to see, but as the big one we watched yesterday disintegrates upon approach, another little sun diver does head in. We've seen so many sun diving comets trigger CMEs, and yet no official acknowledgement of the correlation is admitted. And while there were no eruptions on the Earth facing side of the sun, you see that flicker of light on the side? That happens during backside eruptions, and boy did we get them. At least four CMEs came off the backside with a definitive X-class solar flare associated, and maybe two. Blast actually rocked the Stereo B satellite. The eruption looks enormous on Soho, Lasco. You can see the secondary eruptions that follow it. Astonishingly, right after the big blast, even without space weather and even with the blast on the backside, Earth's magnetosphere faltered and allowed major plasma penetration into the Earth system. At this time, there is proton bombardment at Earth's poles, and the low-energy electrons are surging as well. We usually only see this with Earth-directed flares, but we had nothing significant there. But could we? The Earth-facing sunspots are traversing towards the departing limb with magnetic simplicity absolute in all but the trailing region down south. Even here, we've got great mixing potential, but no delta-class interaction at this time. Looking at the last day of the sun, you can see she's calm in Earth's direction. Southern dark coronal hole is Earth-facing now, and that big plasma filament is beginning to lift up. Definitely got to watch that one. The solar wind, relatively calm but for some density waves the last couple hours, not causing any geomagnetic instability. Let's look beneath our feet and see what's shaking in Iceland. The rumbling does continue, and it has indeed moved north. This is now where we see the second volcano coming on alert at low levels in addition to the eruption underway to the south. The biggest volcanic eruption of note actually came in South America. The Tungurahua volcano sent ash and smoke quite high over the west coast of Ecuador. Coming to space, the inner planets begin to align here. Sands are little blue rock. The trio will be together in a couple of days. Tropics Watch We've got Dolly in the Gulf of Mexico, slated to head northwest and will likely affect parts of Texas if she's not doing so already. Meanwhile, another system south of Mexico isn't going to cause major disruptions, but it will ramp local quake watches and we'll of course monitor for any track changes. Two are easily visible here. Quick follow up to our tornado warnings. These late summer storms are nothing to mess with and if they come to your area, be on alert. Pictures of the storms and devastation are coming in, all due to a low found hundreds of miles to the north in the Hudson Bay. It swings its convergence line south and smashes together air masses of vastly different temperature, moisture and electric potential. Fluid dynamics says they must equalize and the chemistry says that releases a lot of energy. Take heed in these zones tonight please. Got a low over Italy, drawing a lot of moisture north onto the continent. That's the genesis of tonight's warnings there. Low at New Zealand stands firm, still only affecting small portions of the country, while a high-low convergence pushes moisture atop southeastern Australia. Storm watches act accordingly. The Mobile Observatory Project is in Kamloops, British Columbia, and tonight I'll be speaking at Thompson Rivers University at 7 p.m. Check it out if you're in the area. We've got the remaining global storm watches and shots of our start to close at 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.40 a.m. Local Time. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.